I think it's so important for the young people to know about it because he built most of the town, had respect for most of the people in the town. Unbelievable the stories I heard about him. My name is Andrea Clark. Um, James Vester Miller was my grandfather and he was a brick mason. His mother was a slave and his father was a slave master and he, his mother came up to Asheville and he was 10 years old and fascinated by bricks. He learned all kinds of things and he was a, a brilliant man. He's done so many wonderful buildings and the Mason building that is now opened up, he built that building, but he mostly built churches. My cousin Juanita, who I took care of until she passed away and her mother took me in and I learned all these stories about the family. We used to ride around on Sunday, things to do, and she'd run around and she says, oh, see that up there? Pa built that. Because he was a black man, he didn't get his proper due. And it's mesmerizing, it's fan, you know, mind-blowing. And it should be known and seen and, and, and glorified. When Juanita passed away, I wanted to do something. So she um, left some money, and I was able to take that money and honor my family with a plaque of James Vester Miller to go on the last thing he built, which was the, uh, the municipal building, which now houses the police and the fire. So that's where that got started. Yes, I am proud to be a part of it, but it's not me. It's just uh, what came through me, ancestors or whatever. But the fact is I wanted to make somehow show his genius. Hopefully it gets all the young people today interested in history, interested in uh, uh, architecture, interested in um, brick mason. And, and I'm still seeing, of course, buildings and I'm saying, he did that one? Oh gosh, I gotta get another trail going. He just did so much. Amazing.